Hey everybody, my name is Dan Fur, and welcome to Synth School. Today I want to teach you about wave shapes. So what exactly are wave shapes? Well, wave shapes are what dictate what sound the oscillator produces. As we learned in our last video, the oscillator produces noise, but the wave shapes help dictate what noise the oscillator produces. Now there are many, many different wave shapes, but in this video I just want to explain a couple of the basic ones and explain how they sound for you. So the first wave shape I want to explain is a sine wave, and it looks and sounds like this. And as you can see, it follows a basic sine wave pattern. Next up we have a triangle wave. As you can see, the triangle looks and sounds somewhat similar to the sine wave, but it's a little bit more sharp and has triangle edges, as the triangle wave name suggests. Next up, we have a sawtooth wave, and as you can see, this wave is much sharper than the triangle wave. Those sharp edges give it a very gritty and distinct sound. Finally, in this video, we have the square wave. And this follows a basic square pattern and sounds a lot more harmonic, like so. As you can see, nowhere near as gritty as the sawtooth wave, and it's a little bit more, more harmonic and pleasing. So that's just four of the common types of wave shapes out there. There are many, many, many other different wave shapes, and some synths even allow you to create your own wave shapes. So it's really important to understand what these wave shapes do and sound like in order to create your own sound. Thanks so much for watching. My name's Dan Fur, and if you ever have any questions, please don't hesitate to reach out and ask. I'd be more than happy to answer them. Cheers, have a good one. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to stay up to date with all the new synth tips and tricks. Cheers.